Howdy. Got a uh, interesting story that just came out in RT, and I thought I would bring it your way. Now, I do want to take uh, a minute or a second to say that, you know, propaganda is a real thing, and I would be naive not to consider that this could be some of that propaganda. So, uh, coming out of RT, a very, like I say, an interesting article, and if it's true, wow, I, I, I really, uh, I can only imagine the implications if it is in, indeed true. So, you'll see up there, uh, Israel soldiers angry at Netanyahu's U.S.-based son, says the Times. The article goes on to say, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's son, Yer, is not among the 300,000 reservists mobilized for the war with Hamas, but remains in Florida doing nonprofit charity work. Several Israeli soldiers feel this is a betrayal according to the Times of London. Yer is enjoying his life at Miami Beach while I'm on the front lines, one soldier, a volunteer facing Hezbollah on the border with Lebanon, told the British newspaper, requesting an, an anonymity sorry, for security reasons, the soldier complained that the people responsible for this situation aren't shouldering their share of the burden, feeling distrust and anger in the ranks. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> our brothers, our fathers, sons are all going to the front line, but Yair is still not there, uh, still not here. It does not help build trust in the leadership of the country, the soldier told the Times. Another soldier who volunteered and is preparing to deploy to the southern front against Hamas said he flew back from the U.S. and left his job, life, and family. There is no way I can stay there and abandon my country, my people, at this critical time. Where is the prime minister's son? Why isn't he in Israel, One sold, or the soldier said. It is the most uniting moment for us as Israelis in our recent history, and every single one of us should be here right now, including the Prime Minister's son. All Israelis are subject to compulsory military service and reserve call-up until the age of 40. Yer Netanyahu is 32. However, his service in the Israel Defense Force was as a spokesman, not a combat soldier. Imagine that, huh? The Prime Minister's son moved to the U.S. <clears throat> pardon me, earlier this year uh, after making social media posts criticizing Israelis who pro uh, protested against his father's judicial reforms as terrorists and accusing the U.S. of funding the turmoil, right? And then he comes here, accuses the U.S. of funding the turmoil, and then he comes here, right? It's It's crazy. So... I'm not naive. The, you know, I, I understand the reason why this report is a thing. But it's important to know whether or not it's true. And if it is true, <clears throat> man, this is going to be <clears throat> not an easy battle for Israel. If Hezbollah comes in full force, if, if all the others come in full force, this is not going to be a walk in the park. This is going to be a, a bloody, gruesome, all-out battle. And if this is true, that's a major factor for that military. You know, if this is, <clears throat> if this is indeed how they're feeling, it's a major issue. I think we'll figure out whether or not it's true given time. I think, uh, I think that is say it all. So anyway, I thought I'd bring this your way. Of course, I'll put the link in the description and the first comment below. I hope you all have a good day and hope to see you for the live show tonight. Shalom.